Hi there, viewers. Uh, now, today's going to be a much more positive episode. Last episode, just watching it back, it wasn't good. It was disappointing. Uh, it was it was a lot of negative energy. And I feel like if we change that around, turn it into positive energy, then by the end of today's episode, we'll have two wins, we'll be back in the title race, and this will be our year. Okay? Do you... Can I get a hell yeah? Thank you. I mean, I've, just, I've left the pause for you to do it. That was all that was for anyone that was confused. <laughs> Now, yeah, we tampered with the formation. We did, we went to the three uh, three four one two. Yeah, it failed, failed miserably. Tried a four four two, failed miserably. So back to what's actually kept us at the top of the table for the majority of the season. The uh, the four one two two one. That's what I'm calling it. It's an inverted four three three. Uh, Colombino and Hessing are back in. Ankerbrand, Bamba, Parky, Casper, Sergio, Vidal, Kovalev, Caselli, and then got up front. If you've not been with us recently, then well, for, I mean, look at that. Look at the state of that. It's so bad. That is so bad. I mean, I'm laughing, but I want to die. That's the first time I've looked at it. Oh, no. I mean, you must have laughed. I mean, let's face it. When I've popped that on the screen, at least you, you've had a smile there. Because look at that. I mean, I've been refuting the old bottle job thing recently. I'll be going, let's leave that out, mate. We're not. We haven't bottled anything. Just look at that. <laughs> Into the game today. Liverpool. Positive. I shouldn't have looked at it. That's ruined the moral. They're playing a 4-4-2. We're playing our formation. They're going to take a beating. Liverpool. Down in 16th, boys. Down in 16th. they got nothing. I'm going to get reluctant. Go out there and enjoy yourselves today. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not even going to give extra bits of tea. No, I am. I am going to uh, calmly say I've got faith. Well, that's gone well. Shouldn't have said anything. Blew it. Right, Bamba back in today then. Hopefully we can get ourselves a victory. Liverpool, as I say, they're down in 60. They're nowhere. They're, no, they're more likely to get relegated than they are to trouble us today. Manchester United at home against West Brom. So we will... We will they will win that. And as noted, we are now in third place and Arsenal play Tottenham in the North London derby as Liverpool go through on goal and my good grief. All right, we're going to fluid. I'm going to try fluid out. Just a little, little touch, little change. Nothing too drastic. Liverpool corner, ball in, cleared. None of us for sure. Corselli scored for Manchester City. That's nice. Okay, a little bit of a breakaway coming here. It's Corselli. Well, it's gone. Is that a corner? No, it's a goal kick. Thanks for the highlight, though, game. Really appreciate that one. Yeah, cheers. That poor, worth it. Liverpool going forward. Mazzuti on that side. Bamba with a header clear. And now Caselli, perhaps with a chance to break. He's got Menga pushed up. Like, he's got no support here. He needs to support. Casper does help with that. Sergio out to Colombino. The ball can get played in here. Into Caselli. Out to Vidal. Over to Sergio. Out to Colombino. Ball in. Menga's there. Oh, that's what we needed. Back in the game. Gile Menga with the goal. It puts us a couple of points behind Manchester United. And the dream is not over. Positive attitude. Positive vibes. I'm feeling good. Because I got a feeling ooh, that today's episode's going to be great. 1-0. There we are. Good start. Not a problem. Not a problem. If West Brom can do us a job over Manchester United as well, that would be great. If Tottenham could do a job over Arsenal, that would be good too. But so far, we're doing our bit. And at halftime at Salford 1, Liverpool nil. I may have a scarf, but right now, the allegiance is fully in favour of Salford. As of right for the next two minutes or for however long this game lasts i don't want a 90th minute equalizer thank you okay really though all eyes now are on west brom and tottenham to do something and holding them to draws is west bromwich albion oh my god that's good that's very good west brom oh yes now manchester united have uh, tottenham and manchester city to come so they've got some tricky games on the horizon as long as we do our bit here and win today everything is going to be just fine anchor brand with a good interception and uh, if you can work this forward Oh, God. Parky. I've never doubted you, mate. Okay, time's ticking down. In the last few games, we've had some absolutely rapid games where things have flown by. If we get a second here, that will pretty much sum up the game. Kovalev, ball in. Oh, it's a header. Colombino to Kovalev, who heads into that far corner. It's 2 0. And I'm telling you, positive energy, positive vibes will get us through today's matches. And, uh, the, well, the first one is all but said and done. Colombino, an underrated member of the squad this year, on loan. Lots of talk that we should get him in. I've inquired. Roma have said 40 million. Million. I've said no, so that's that's the situation with that at the moment. Tottenham is still holding Arsenal, which puts us back into second place. Manchester United struggling as oh, that was a good chance as well. We go close. West Brom, hold on, boys, hold on. 
I've slagged off West Brom in this series before. I've said that they're quite a boring team in the context of football, and I stand by that. But today, they are one of the most exciting teams in all of football. As we count down, three, two, one. Full time here. Salford two, Liverpool nil. It remained full. It remained nil nil at Arsenal. It remained one nil to West Brom at Old Trafford. So that's looking good for us. By the end of this episode, we could be back on top, folks. How things change uh, as we go to our next game. Then I can't think who it's against. Well, oh, it's against West Brom. Oh, of all the teams, I mean, they've done us a favour. They don't don't mess me about now. Seriously, don't mess me about now. That will be awful. Okay, I'm expecting some sort of major injury. In fact, shall we, shall we, shall we play? Shall we sort of? We'll continue together through this week. Just in case anything untoward goes down. I'm nervous already. I feel like an injury is incoming, and I don't know why. Why am I expecting it? I feel, I feel like I know why I'm expecting it, because it always happens. That's why I'm expecting it. But so far, nothing coming. We've got a few scout reports there. Nothing nothing overly exciting. Oh, self opponent team with Kovalev and Colombino, who combined for that late goal. Rivi's in there as well. Corselli's there. Monnier. I mean, that is a team for all seasons. I quite like that. Nothing. Nothing's going on, though. Which is good, I guess. I don't want anything bad to happen. Uh, Franco Squino's coming along a little bit. That's good, I guess, and that's pointless. I'm nervous. I feel like this is the walk to the stadium. We're currently doing the walk to the stadium. We're walking to the Hawthorns, although that would be foolish because we're at home. So we'd have to turn around and walk back to Salford Stadium. I mean, let's do it for charity. Let's make it a charity walk because uh, it's, it's through our, but at least we've raised a hundred thousand pounds for charity. So I mean, hashtag charity. We are great. Walk, walk, walk for, walk for winners because we're going to be winners you might think why do you usually cut out the bits between games this is why this is why this bit normally doesn't make it into the actual video um but be rest assured this does happen in between every single time i just most of the time i, I would listen back and think you've lost it mate you've absolutely lost it okay we'll send all of these guys to get fit and uh yes west brom in 12th place it's the first of may it's the business end of the season there are three matches to go and, I mean, team selection-wise, I think we're going to go with exactly what we played in that game. Everyone is fighting fit and ready to go. Barry's on the bench if we need to bring him on, as is China. Two key men that can change this game. It's time to it's time to rumble. Let's rumble. Everybody rumble. That wasn't intentional. Okay, come on. The people who watch this series deserve some happiness game, okay? They deserve some happiness. And, and the boys on the pitch today, we need some happiness too. We're qualifying for the Champions League today. That's what I've told them. Manchester United then, at home to Manchester City. Rivi, if there's any time we wanted you to score a Rivi, today is that day. As, uh, as West Brom, with the first chance of the game, defended well. I mean, I was nervous. Manchester United have gone ahead. Because <laughs> it says... Yeah, not good for us. Shouldn't, shouldn't joke about it. It's devastating news. As uh, West Brom come forward. Hessing with a good tackle, though. And up towards Menger, who has... I mean, in fairness, he had no support. Can't help but think he panicked a little bit, though. As uh, he tries to get on the second ball... And our press here is going to have to be careful because they play two quite deep midfielders. So for us to have an impact today, we have to stop the crosses. Shit. Okay, uh, things have opened up here. It's West Brom 1, Salford 0. Skip that. Oh, no. Uh, positive energy. We're not being positive. We're looking at the negatives. In fact, get rid of this. I don't need this. We need to focus on ourselves and focus on the win. Parky with a good save. Right, let's just, let's just tactically, Ben. I mean, we've got a chance. Let's watch that first. I mean, tactics are out the window. When I said we had a chance, what I meant was, there's a highlight. It might go our way. As Colombino's got it in a, a dangerous area. He's played it back to Parkey. Can we build all the way from the back? This would be quite a good... It would have been quite a good goal had we scored from that sort of build-up play. But no, it's not good. And for Beek, who got the goal against Manchester United, has fired one viciously into our crowd. In fact, he should be fined for that. Because there's going to be one chance before half-time. The fear is that every time we've seen a chance in this game so far, it has gone the way of West Bromwich Albion. And I think the way their formation sets out that we give them far too much space to do kind of what they want in the middle. Verbeek's on it. It's blocked, though. Hessing forward to Menger, who's going to have to go on the greatest solo run of all time, but actually loses out to Torore. Forward again, Casper, and that is going to bring an end to the half. Now, we have to try and punish what they're doing. Oh, I've got something in mind. I mean, Cap... Just stick to a formation. Okay, I, I know what will work. I shouldn't do this. Episode a while ago, throwback. Time for another one. Okay, it looks a little bit like this. If we just make a few changes. Uh, Menger off. Menger off. Switch those two around. Hi, everyone. You join me as we play Cover the Pitch. Formation, man. Worked on the Manchester United save. So, I say worked. We won the Europa League. Is that working? 
We're going to cover the pitch, though. I think getting uh, in and around their defensive midfielders and creating a problem for those defensive midfielders will be a key to the success of this team today. Striker-wise, Menga's not really been in this. And as we come forward, it's working to a T. As Hessing is up on this left-hand side. Where's he going to put the ball? Hessing, play it in. Barry! Oh, it's a good save by Donnarumma. Out to Colombino, and the chance is not gone. Colombino, ball in. Onto the edge is Kovalev. Barry loses out, but Ankelbrand heads it back in. And now Vidal is the highlight over, or will we see something else? Sergio all the way across to Barry we've got to get into the middle we've got to support him Troy's going in on Barry and won the ball cleanly disappointing cleared but sign of good intentions as uh, the highlight actually continues Kovalev and Hessing combine over to Vidal now Kasper with it ball at feet Sergio into Kovalev we had to score that we had to score that okay we're going to go attacking 20 minutes left on the clock more pressure we've got to find a goal a, a loss here and no no I want to. I want to break something because this is like so shit. <sighs> it was this moment reality has set in. I knew that once again, and it's been a while, but we bottled it, and it was time to consider: was this really for me? Am I capable of taking Salford to the next level? Am I capable of inspiring these players? to do more? Do I have the formations at my disposal to make us better? Questions, questions, questions. And so little answers. Where do we go from here? Is it over? Is it just beginning? I don't know what to do anymore, folks. This falls on me. I'm so sorry. So sorry. We love with care. From me not to Benji until next time. Goodbye. Next time on the Salford Story. I, I, I mean, there'll be plenty of people watching right now thinking of Spell, thinking of Juventus. We've won the and We've won the I mean, I, so am I. I won't pretend, so am I.